I'm the whiz. I'm the whiz. Very good. I'm the whiz. I'm the whiz. I'm looking at that hat. <laughs> I'm the whiz. Nobody beats me. I thought it was funny that there is a hospital wing specifically for burned animatronics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was very funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's like you he only gets to play that opening when people visit and nobody's visited in years. So it's relatively new. <laughs> um I I will admit I think it's it's very funny and goofy and very Tim Burton-ish for Willy Wonka's father Wilbur Wonka to have literally just separated his townhouse from the other townhouses and moved away Mm -hmm. like it's just bam gone and so out in a field somewhere so that is funny um I genuinely don't think that I mean Christopher Lee is just a treat it's a treat, get it, to see him. Very good. This yeah. is right off the heels of uh, the prequel trilogy. So Count Dooku was fresh in everybody's mind. It's 2005, people. Revenge of the Sith came out a few months prior. God, dude, that is insane how long ago this was. Wow. Wow. Anyway, dude, I have just too many Willy Wonka references I'm throwing in here. Anyway, I as, as fine as they are, I think that's a weird motivation to be obsessed with chocolate. Um, I, the scene, first of all, that headgear is a little excessive, but <laughs> when, he gets, real, though. Can- I mean, when that- he gets the candy out of the thing and then he puts it and then his face just morphs into that weird uh, effect that they have. I don't know. I, 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 I could have done without those scenes. I, I didn't really care for them upon rewatch i did however like when he said after all these years and you still haven't flossed not once and his teeth are fucking flawless yeah i I haven't seen my cuspids like these since really and he has the whole wall of willie's achievements which i mean it's cute yeah yeah but yeah eh, i didn't really it is eh. nice i'm happy that he wasn't still a dick hole after all these years um though i thought that the perfect button on the movie would have been that him living in the factory with the rest of them you know yeah like he Speaking walks of, in of with that, charlie of and that Willy ribbon Wonka at the you, end you come up to this charlie wins you have that super stupid long handshake which is still kind of wholesome i guess like they're, they're both really happy and he walks into the the door that's kind of stupid whatever but um, I don't like how he goes. And my family, of course they, of, of course they can't. I can't have them, you know, ruining your child mind. Whatever the hell he says, and uh, it just abruptly stops for me at that point. I'm like, what the fuck is? And then the, and then they add the part with the shoe shining about this Willie guy, and then he's like, yeah. I met him, whatever, and he said he, he was. He thought he thought he was nice, and it's like, dude, you can I thought he was so great tell. At first, yeah, yeah, yeah you can. Like he knows it's him the whole time, because how do you miss the giant ass elevator <laughs> elevator parked, parked on the side of the road? <laughs> and as soon as he reveals himself, like like he had a weird haircut. I do not. And he's like, "What are you doing here?" You know, like he's not like, "Oh," you know, like he's not surprised at all you know, immediately, he's just like, what are you doing here? Like, he, he's, like, frustrated that he's there. Like, he knew. Yeah, I still, I still didn't like it. Um, Because I think the movie would have just ended more wholesome with the family. I don't know. It just. Agreed. Agreed. It it, it was just a weird stop. Because it added an extra 15 minutes that were just weird. And the movie is already too long. 
two hours yes. for this type of movie is borderline unacceptable. I'm sorry, but no. And especially with the fact that they take their time to get to the factory. It was like, oh, you don't get to the factory minutes. until like 40 minutes or so. Yep. Mm hmm. I was looking at the time code because I was like, uh, <laughs> this is a while. They could have gotten rid of all the father stuff. You know, as much as I love Christopher Lee. And see, know. that's the thing. It's like we like it because we like the actor, not because it contributes to the movie, right? So there yeah. has to be a line no. where you draw, and it's, it's just funky. I think it would have made so if they would have done that and then got rid of that, ha, just the stupid fucking shit on the side. I think I would have loved this movie a lot. I mean, I I like the movie. I, think I like I some of it. the goofy stuff, but the whole like. And the part where it did bother me was like, like, oh, the nut room. I, that is my business or whatever. And, you know, like I work in a nut factory. And then he's like, ah, you're weird. And I'm like, what? Like as a kid, I love that shit. But mm -hmm. now I'm just like, what? And then later on where he's like, Veruca, darling. You know, like he like imitates the father. Like Willy Wonka does the voice of the father. Like Veruca. Yeah, darling. like this spot on. Wonka. You know, like that kind of thing. And I'm like, what is going on here? Like all of this is so weird. It doesn't fit. And it bothered me. And Willy Wonka is a sick fuck, you know, because <laughs> he obviously planned all this shit out. It's, it's, you know, literally, it, it's hinted at several times in the movie. All the songs it's by the very telling. are already written. I was going to say with not not just the improvisation line being a parlor trick, but like the Augustus part, when that pipe is coming over and Willy Wonka is looking at it like, okay, it's going down. Mm -hmm. It's like what I wanted. I knew. Yeah, and they could have like, stopped it. And that's in the exactly... book version... In, even in like this one, mm -hmm. like, I would no, argue stop. they, they he didn't it. know it was going to happen, but he knew they were going to all fuck up, right? Yeah, but he this knew specifically version is like how though too in the original. This one's what like is calculated. the line where he's like, "No, stop, help, Don't police, murder." That line mm -hmm. <laughs> when he goes, "Help, police, murder." Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, because uh, he's Augustus. like, I don't, he doesn't give a shit, and he's like. Like a uh, a uh, 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 little boy, uh, that is uh, untouched by human hands. But he he will stick his hands in there. The mm -hmm. Oompa Loompas can freaking swim in it. Forget sticking. I'm your so hands in it. happy that you mentioned the fucking synchronized swimming portion because yeah. that is one of the most CG parts of the movie because. Augustus is covered in chocolate like he's covered in shit when he pops up the first time, right? Agreed. These Oompa Loompas are, are doing moves and stuff, and it looks like they're on top of not even chocolate milk. It looks like they're on top of Yoohoo. Chocolate drink. It's just falling off of them. It looks even, it looks thick. Honestly, Yoohoo is pretty thin. I get your point, though. No, no, no. When the Oompa Loompas are, are synchronized swimming because it's like they're in water. They don't have traces of chocolate on them like Augustus. Oh, it just looks awful. I get what you're saying. And okay. I didn't even notice that until last night. I've never noticed that. Yeah. So Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Um, yeah. Uh, so, like, he knew in some weird way, like you said, that they were going to screw up and he was like whatever one is last that's going to be the one and obviously charlie is like you know perfect like you mentioned mm -hmm. before as well he's uh, actually a good kid um they leaned into that a couple times in the movie where it's just like and you well you're just lucky to be here aren't you and i'm like that's kind of a shitty thing to say and the other time like drink some of this you look starved well, do you to good death. yeah and I'm like, okay, stop rubbing it on you, bitch. Um, it's great. Well, that's because it's mixed by a waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, this <laughs> factory is the only factory. You already said that. You already said that. Oh. Oh, and then it cuts to the you're really short part. Okay, we, yeah, we already covered that. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a, I mentioned in the notes, a space odyssey. 
Um, obviously, I noticed that for the first time, not only the song being used, of course, but the actual scene from the movie um, yes. with the, in the, the movie, monolith. I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's, it's like called a, the monolith. Monolith, yeah. Yes, it's called the Good monolith. One. Good one. Um, and uh, there was a bit of sequel baiting in this movie when Willy Wonka makes a point of calling the elevator the glass, I think he might even go as far as to call it the great glass elevator. Like, Probably. we can take my great glass elevator. And I'm like, I see what you're trying to do there, Timber. And you want them to produce I thought, this. I thought they were going to make a sequel. Yes. But again, I was a kid. They're, they, Tim Burton was hoping that they would. So he could take a step back, just produce it like he did with Through For the Batman Glass. Oh, and they could just, you know, find somebody else to actually direct the movie. I never saw Through the Looking Glass. I never have either, but mm, okay. Tim Burton only produced it. Um, with Batman Forever, his name is on there as producer, but he had nothing to do with that movie. Really? They wouldn't even really? like, allow him in the building. No. Then what the fuck was he doing? Because it wasn't that the story he was working on that and not Nightmare. So that's why he didn't direct Nightmare. He wanted to do a third movie, a third Batman movie. Yeah. He pitched okay. his idea to the studio and they turned him down. Hmm. So he was probably working on the whole pitch for that third movie, but he has nothing to do with the writing credits or anything of that movie. Very interesting. He just, his name is under his producer and that's it. But that credit can mean everything or it can mean nothing at all. Um everything or nothing exactly um it's it's a bit of a dick move to destroy the roof of their house the bucket's house <laughs> um you well, know i figure you won't need this anymore <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like as shitty as gene wilder's willy wonka's and when i say shitty i mean you know like mean and partially evil oh god it's my I, said I hate that days. part. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate that part of that movie. It is so it's dumb. Weird. <laughs> and his hair is like going all, all wonky. Good mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Very good. Willy wonky. Um, <laughs> Willy so, yeah, wonky. That was kind of a, a, but it's also the kind of movie this is as well, where it's fantastical. So it's like, oh, there's a hole in our roof. We'll just fix it like that tomorrow, you know? So whatever. Mm, uh, the Oompa Loompas will be on it right away. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it was Charlie and his dad that fixed it, that they showed. Um, and then I mentioned this, that Willy Wonka's dad should have been there with the family at the end, you know, eating dinner with the buckets. Like that would have been a nice button for this movie to just be there. Cause mm -hmm. what they just leave then like good to see you dad and then they just leave like like if you're gonna have that story in the movie then at least have a conclusion to it like a a good meaningful conclusion you know otherwise get it out of the movie and now your movie's an hour and a half long you know yes um and oh ho, ho. this wasn't a note this drove me crazy though the fact that Willy Wonka can't say the word parents. I wanted to stop watching the movie every single You know time. what? I totally forget. Well, I mean, obviously I watched it last night, but before that, I forgot that was a part of the movie. I did too. Like, I and legitimately, you're... if you would... And the rest of you must be there. If uh, you would have asked me, I would have said it wasn't a thing in that movie. Yeah, I forgot yeah, about I, that. I didn't remember oh. it. Yeah. That. Your uh, <laughs> parents? Uh, yeah. Uh, moms and dads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, like, come on. Get that out of there. See, that's the thing. It's when it follows the book, it's a fucking great movie. But whenever it deviates, it's like Timber, just stop. Just stop. You already have something good going. Stop fucking it up it's like he wanted to be different and that's why he added that ending to it because he wanted to pull a ryan johnson and you know how 
Good. You know what? If, if we just did a super Mess cut with of the expectations, movie, where we'll just edit the movie where he says, "Of course they, of course, my dear boy, of course they can," and then we'll cut it right before he says, "Can't." And then yeah. we'll have it pan down to them all eating dinner and the Oompa Loompa will tell us they all live happily ever after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all right if my family come too. Oh, my dear boy, of course they can. Life has never been sweeter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is good. a cute, great ending. Yeah, and this, So they have to do fine. this stupid shit that adds 20 minutes to... Yeah, we're anyway, I'm... I'm, so I'm I'm whipping uh, a dead cow here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and of course, my very last note was that this movie was way too long. But, mm-hmm. um, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it wasn't like the worst thing in the world. Again, I enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to. I mm-hmm. wish I could go back to what I originally thought of this movie, but that was a different magical time. Because like That's you exactly said, a sequel could have happened and this could have become like a big thing, you know? They could have even made a third movie and made it yes. all original, you know? Like this had potential, real potential. Unfortunately, I really don't know what happened. I didn't look up what this movie made in the box office. So I I assume it was a it was unsuccessful, you know, being that it didn't get a sequel. Yeah, and it was just crazy. So the movie came out in July and Corpse Bride comes out in theaters two months later in September, which is yeah. insane for a, a blockbuster two mega blockbusters to be directed by the same director that close in the same I don't know year if i would say the corpse bride is a blockbuster that well, was you like know a, what i'm surprised it even went to theaters because it's only like 60 minutes long yeah it's, you it's, know it's 70 something and change it's really short yeah. movie but that was another thing i was a kid at the time i was young and i fucking i was i was coming off the coattails of this movie and then I'm like so excited. Here's another Johnny Depp, Tim Burton collaboration. Sure. This is great. So I love that movie back then. I still love it. I still love that movie. That one, I never went through phases of hating like this. So in conclusion, I went through really loving this movie to absolutely despising it to enjoying it again. And I don't, I, I like to have it in my collection. I, yeah. The it's budget a, for this means movie something to me. Insane. What? Don't tell me it was 150 million. It was 150 million. <laughs> okay. What was the box office turn? Uh, 475. So it was Holy profitable. Fuck. Almost half a billion dollars. Damn. Yeah. It was profitable. So I, I don't know what happened. Probably because the concept of a great glass elevator movie. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. Sounds fucking awful. But it would have been a Johnny Depp movie, though. Um, and it, yeah, and I would have seen it, and I would have loved it, and then hated it. <laughs> it's possible Most that likely. they couldn't get everybody back on board for it. Um, so I don't know, but God, nothing against Deep Roy, but I would have preferred legit Oompa Loompas. You know, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't have a problem if he was like the main Oompa Loompa they focused on sure. and had other ones with yes. him. Yeah, it's just having them having them identical with identical wrinkles just looks fucking dumb. It does. And it's so Tim burton with the red suit and the hair. And the, I do kind of like, like that every every Oompa Loompa, things. which I'm. You, you sure would have to notice that every Oompa Loompa that works in a different part of the factory has a color-coded outfit for that yes. room. I kind of yeah. fuck with that. That's fine. doesn't bother me. That um, was fine, I guess. But yeah, it's just, it takes away from it that they had to, you know, use all the CGI to replicate this one guy. Or, you know, when they weren't using CGI to replicate him a billion times, they just filmed him multiple times. And it becomes like a cheap looking shot where they're all like, for instance, jumping into the water looks so cheap. 
Like, this is mm-hmm. not a $150 million movie I'm watching right here. You know what I mean? This looks like a cheap-ass student film or something that I'm watching here. You know, like, there's certain things that look yes. terrible at the time um, that I remember looking bad at the time. You know, like, this wasn't even something that looked good at the time. Certain parts of it did, you know, it's like the opening, for instance, um, all of that is CGI, you could tell it is. Um, I think when I was a kid, I, I didn't even, it didn't come to me. I didn't even, it didn't dawn on me that that was entirely CGI. I thought it maybe at least the boxes were real boxes or something, you know, but they're not. So that part well, was plus fine. you haven't seen it in high definition since well i mean you just saw it in theaters and if you watch on dvd you're not seeing it cl- as clear as you should so when you do see it in 1080p like like i did with this one yeah wow yeah the cg really really does stick out it's bad um, it, it yeah. bothered me at the time like i said it's just like a cgi fast and in the worst way possible it's not even like some shots are great like i said but other ones are just boring and weird for the sake of being boring and weird like when he's talking to the oompa loompa who is his therapist and they're just sitting in that hallway you know that like infinite hallway infinitely and, cg hallway yeah and nothing is there it reminds me it gives of me like flashbacks the prequels exactly um or when they first walk in they're in that same hallway and it just looks the same and it's just like you know these boring infinite hallways and a lot of that main area set was actually built um which is great that looks fantastic i love the um juxtaposition of the black walls of the factory mixed with the ultra vibrant colors of the grass and the candy Mm -hmm. and the chocolate river and all that kind of stuff gorgeous that is all gorgeous um and i've mentioned this before i don't know if you remember but that was built all at pinewood studios very good james bond um studio um because they needed to fill that entire area with you know i assume chocolate colored water and that takes a lot of you know hundreds of thousands of gallons of water yep it's all the whole construction process is actually on the special features yes i i do remember some of that there's a lot of special features on that desk that was watching those special features back in the day is how i found out that it was pinewood studios so the last thing i want to say is we didn't mention it but um if we talk about everything else I wanted to say, I'm pretty sure, other than the fact that these aren't Wonka branded anymore, and that started a lot of this conversation, and I'm just still pissed about that, but whatever. I can make a video. I'll make a video of me writing to Nestle. Um, no, uh, Ferrero Rocher now. Does it, is the word Wonka not anywhere on that? Nope, nowhere. Throw it was that marketed. Up. What? very back put it the the writing like distributed by i can't oh yeah it just says yeah. ferrera rocher yeah get in touch with ferrera usa um, anyway the nestle yeah, so it... ones would still they would say nestle but they would also say wonka yep. um, nestle sold all of so all the candy rights but i'm assuming they needed some roll doll rights to get willy wonka on there so they just probably cheaped out but i digress anyway Maybe. brandon but so i am sad to say i did not have the the foresight to have my little deep roy willy wonka dangling here yes the same willy wonka the, what am i talking about i'm keep calling it a willy wonka uh oompa loompa <laughs> The same Oompa Loompa that you can see in our 2000s nostalgia thumbnail, actually. So it was it's left over at the place where I took the picture, unfortunately. So I don't have it, but I will take a special picture of it and we will put it into the episode. So so the last well, thing I was going to say. My uh, candy bar. 
my yes. uh that's awesome screen produced but not used candy bar wrapper so very good yeah so in the book version each kid gets their own personalized song from the oompa loompas as opposed to the original that just uses the same rhyme oompa loompa basically over and over again I've so another puzzle that for change you. is 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 definitely welcome for me i like that each one has a different style um and i mean i would say wonk is welcome song because that is clearly sung by oompa loompas in a sound studio um <laughs> that they have in the factory but i can't say it's my favorite oompa loompa song so i mean all really four... i was thinking it was johnny depp i don't know <laughs> why no i mean it sounds it's the same Billy Wonka. Oompa, oompa. Oompa, 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 oompa. i don't know the, oompa, the oompa same voices. sound like hello and welcome to <laughs> the story of willy wonka like it sounds like uh i don't know danny what's his name danny elfman no well danny elfman probably did actually sing. he did every voice um, yes yeah probably everything yes he did um no danny uh danny glover sounds like danny glover when the oompa loompa actually talks <laughs> the oompa loompa <laughs> that's narrating the movie yes um yeah if, if that's what they sound like um i don't know i'm trying to think of my favorite song i I like Veruca Salt because it sounds like a Beatles song. It's all like mellow. It's really nice. But it's about her fucking literally almost burning in an incinerator and hanging out with uh, with fish heads. It's hilarious. Um, I love the grandiose, like uh, big band kind of feel of Augustus Gloop. Um, yeah, yeah. I do like the like that 70s kind of funk vibe with uh, Violet. And then Mike TV's is great too. It's a nice little rock song. I don't know which one's which one's your favorite. The only one that that sticks with me a little bit is the Augustus Gloop song. The rest of them I can't. I I couldn't even just really? watching it last night. I couldn't sing them. But even like Augustus Gloop, so big and vile, so big and vile, and infantile. Come on now, the time is right. You know, like I can, I can do that always. But all the other songs, no idea. You know, I remember really funny. the one where it's they really funny you say that. sort of like impersonate the Beatles in that one song. Um, other than that, though, and they like one of them is like Led Zeppelin. They're making fun of as well. Um, mm -hmm. that song from Mike you know, TV. Um, yes, yes, that's so was okay. I, I remembered all the songs and I remembered the general gist of the lyrics. But for Augustus Gloop, I actually like remembered like 99% of the lyrics, which fucking shocked me. But yeah, um, yeah, I guess we'll say Augustus is is a is the number one, then we'll go with that. I just wanted to know your opinion on it because we didn't mention it, but we hit every other chocolatey note. They got some so, of the scale of the Oompa Loompas wrong some of the time, which kind of bothered me. You know, like sometimes they would hold up a fish head and for some reason it was like, if the a biggest fish, fish head the compared to them was that big, these freaking Oompa Loompas are, <laughs> are literally this big. You know, by the way that they are, you know, like holding up this fish head. like And then no. the giant then, steak other times the steak was a weird one too and then other times it was fine you know the scale was correct like they didn't seem to understand how to get the scale right and every time they're standing next to a person they're about like a uh, two feet tall you know yeah so that was a little bit weird just figured i'd point it out but um yeah i think i mean it was all over the place but i think i tackled everything i wanted to say so uh yeah, in conclusion, you know, I really wish I had a Wonka bar with graham cracker in it right now. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yes. Sadly, so, they don't produce them anymore. They were great. I loved them. They were okay. Man, what a time. What a time.
I wish that I got right. the Whipple scrumptious uh, fudge mellow uh, wrapper when I had the chance because that's the one that's most prominently featured in the movie. Yes, it is. But my favorite one is I went chili chocolate. One. I like chili oh, chocolate cream because it's blue and purple and it just looks cool. Yeah, Not like only that, mentholated I just, creme. I could just imagine like a, a chili chocolate, like a, like a, I don't know, like you bite into it and it feels like it's been refrigerated, but it hasn't like a chili chocolate cream, like creamy and cold. And I don't know. It could be, it's it could just be minty. Cool. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not fun. There's like these small. It's not fun. Yeah. It's no, not fun. the candy's the candy's supposed to be fun. There's like those small chocolate things called uh, ice cubes. Remember those? No. Really? It's a no. small thing. It was called Ice Cube and it was a chocolate and then you would eat it and it had like a chill behind it. Like it was cold, but it was room temperature. So that's what I imagined chili that's, chocolate cream yeah, to be like. Yeah, that's the first thing I said, which was mentholated or mentholated, which is menthol oh. that's in it. Yeah. Don't say it like that because that makes it gross. <laughs> there was like a the part of the movie where they show menthol. Um, do they? They do um no they don't it's at the they do but it's not in willy wonka's factory it's at the the toothpaste factory and there's like a tube of menthol behind the dad um but uh um yeah 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 yeah. so it is uh you know a half entertaining movie Yes. I probably will never watch it again, but, you know. It actually made for one of the most stupid tie-in movie games also, because I had that thing, that game on the GameCube, and uh, I hadn't played that in 17 years, and I don't have it anymore, so I, I loaded up the emulator, I played it a little bit, I did, I did the trash can level, and uh, I got to the factory, and you know what? The game just sucks <laughs> it does yeah it's, it's i remember uh renting it at the time and uh i just couldn't stand it no and i you know no. we're, we're people that love our movie license games we really do and that just ain't working for me nope that one i always compared that one in my mind to the series of unfortunate events one that they're both just awful 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 yes unlawfully awful unlawfully awful so yep i think we covered all our bases guys so we will see you for the next retrospective slash review slash i think special features is next on the list i think it is as well yes and then then after special features uh well of course we have to which is going to be a special more so than it's definitely going to be a special. We're, we'll talk about the Halloween Ends trailer, definitely, because if we're going to talk about the Munsters, we're definitely going to talk definitely about something about we Halloween. enjoy. Um, and then lastly, lastly, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. No, after that is uh, actually an idea that came from a viewer named Titi, uh, who gave us the idea of talking about musical biopics and what yeah. we'd like to see in the future as well as what was it what was the other part of it it was like ones that we want to see and ones that we enjoy sure that sounds correct so yes that was a good idea so thank you sir um so we will do that as well but uh Yes, 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 yes. So, yes, so be on the lookout, keep an everybody. Eye out, people, keep an eye out. And um, thanks for joining us for As the uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory retrospective. Yes. Very good. Yes, Abby. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks, Bye, everybody. everybody.